Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to react to a Turkish tale Rene Akaved with a historical golden buzzer. There were quite a lot of you who suggested for me to react to this specific audition of hers because apparently it's like life changing for Filipinos and I have seen quite a lot of talent auditions in my time on YouTube so I would love to see as well what is so outstanding about her because usually anything that you suggest to me to react to is just mind blowing so I mean yeah, let's buckle up and see what is this all about because it's like 14 minutes long and yeah if i will have to stop in the process i will put some comments in but other than that yeah you can grab a drink a snack and let's get right into it she's so happy also i've never heard of her Zovem se Kristel. A imam 12 godina, idem u petom razredu i došla sam iz Filipina. Hrvatska mi se sviđa što ima ovdje proljeće, jesen, što nije prevruće niti prehladno. Tak me paše. Very confident for it. Ja živim u Svetom Martinu na Muri. To je jedan selo koje je malo, ali jako jako je lijepo. I tamo su svi djeca dobri, ima jako lijepa tradicija i jako mi se sviđa ovdje. Dok mi je mama rekla da ćemo doći u Hrvatskoj, zato jer je našla moje tata, jako mi je bilo strah jer sam uvijek mislila što bod oni mislili da će doći jedna cura koja drugačije izgleda nego od njih. Ali dok sam počela hodati u školu, baš su napravili sve da osjećam ko da sam doma. Najčešće se družimo, naprimjer idemo na šetnju, razgovaramo se, igramo s loptom. Ne bih htjela ništa mijenjati na njoj i mislim da bi svi prijatelji trebali biti dobri i veseli kao što je Kristel. Also, I haven't seen a lot of like auditions with this like type of long intros before. The jedan dan moj roditelji su mene rekli, mi smo tebi prijavili na super talent. Pa ja sam tako šokirana bila. Super talent, ja. I think as a parent, I'm more nervous than her. I think is that normal? Yeah, she's very um, sweet and polite, and I'm very grateful that she's my child, and I'm very proud of her. I think this is the first time I have heard <laughs> that the parent has signed up a child for her. Zasad sam ja jako uzbuđena, jer ću pjevati pred velikom publikom i pred poznati ljudi, to je isto jedno maja šufut, moja tata obožava maju. Nadam se da će moji roditelji biti ponosni i svi moji obitelji u Filipinima i ovdje isto i moji prijatelji, učitelji. I mean, I think they will, if they sign you up for a competition, that means you're good and they just not think that you're good. And also the fact that you're already on the stage, that means that you have gone a lot of auditions. Dobra večer! Dobra večer! Jako si zanimljivo obučena. Da li je to hrvatska nošnja? To je međimorska nošnja. Najme je prekrasna. Ja. Znači koliko je divna. Resno. Jesi uzbuđena, sretna? Ja sam jako uzbuđena. Oh. <laughs> Onda nema više pričanja. Idemo. She is so confident. Ajme, gledaj. A ruke? Ne, ruke. sve. Sve, sve. Oh, my heart is racing for her. That's what Filipino Roots does. I'm 
must say for Atelier roll, that type of tone, the clearness, it's like crystal clear, there's no stra like straining to it at all. No wonder why she got a golden buzzer, because Atelier Rolls don't sing like that. Like, they just don't, like, the voice is just developing at that stage. So, she's really, really gifted for, I mean, 12 years old. He's checked on Also, she's singing a cappella. You guys, that is uh, like the purest talent. You can see that she's just opening her mouth. She hasn't changed her posture at all. And if you saw how far from the microphone she is, there is strength in that voice. At 12. Are you kidding? Also, I don't know a word she's singing about, but it's beautiful. And I also love that Filipinos are starting to get like recognized all around the globe because usually in these types of talent shows around the world that are not like in US and UK, the bigger countries are not that well known like the contestants, like the shows are happening and the contestants are known in their countries but they don't usually go viral around like the globe and she has and that says a lot, I mean come on, you hear the material. He And a smile at the end. Also, did you notice the quietness in the audience? Like the needle would drop on the floor and you would hear that.
That is a long ovation. What was that? That was a pure talent. But what was it that I didn't have the opportunity to spend my gold? I wouldn't give it to you. I would give it to you. This is a gold gold. This is a gold gold. Nikoga da pjeva ovu pjesmu ovako, a još manje sam čula jednu predivnu, preslatku, pretalentiranu Filipinku da pjeva ovako međimursku narodnu popesku. Mi smo svi ovdje u jaku. Wow! Kristel! Kristel, Kristel, mi smo potrošili sve zlatne gumbe. Samim time nemamo više onih konfeta. Znači, nikad u povijesti supertalenta se nije desilo da se publika na ovaj način za nekog zauzela. Nikada! Ja, ne mogu se da je to. Idemo ih hrano jaš, policijom. Čekaj, tako, čekaj, ili ćemo... Kristel, kako se osjećaš? Ja se osjećam jako vesela. Yes! Audience has any say like that right on the spot? Because also you saw that the judges were like, we are like torn. Because we all have given away golden buzzers and you definitely deserve one and we can't. We don't have a right anymore to push it, but we would. So the fact that the audience just stood up for her and like the woman ran and pushed that buzzer was really, I don't know, it's just heartwarming to see the people who are so humble and they don't even know how good they are. Like at the beginning how she said, I don't, am I a star like me? And when you have voice like that at that age, I mean, I, it kind of signifies like the background where she's coming from, that she's not big headed in a big like, attitude like I'm the best of the best but she's like yeah I mean I can sing but like am I like a superstar I mean I'm definitely you are yeah that was something that's an, you don't hear that every day and I'm so glad that you guys suggested for me to react to this video because I don't know if I would have seen it if you would not ask or comment in my comments down below so I really appreciate to find out another Filipina who can really really sing and also if you know the lyrics of this song, or what is the meaning of this song? As I suppose it's, as I understand, it's folk type of song. And if you know, please let me know in the comments down below. And if there's anything else that you know of her, please let me know in the comments down below. And if there's anything else of her like performances, leave those also in the comments down below, because I would definitely go through them and see if I can react it with you. Anyways, I will go now. But yeah, I will see you next time. Bye. Yeah.